Pride group, uh, everybody on Facebook and um, Instagram at Prestige Jewelry underscore LC is my Instagram. Um, hit me up there. Uh, links will all be in my description uh, for my Facebook page and everything, which is Lions EDC Pride Group on Facebook groups. Um, today we have a quick unboxing. Um, there's two different knives in here uh, to add to my collection. Um, and possibly use if they make the cut and um, are cool enough um, to showcase and everything. But um, it was ripped and retaped. Um, I, I ripped the tape off because I had my um, information on it and stuff like that. Um, but the two in there are sealed. So we're going to go ahead and just... Uh, pop this open and and pull that out uh just full disclosure and everything uh i had to make sure that everything was all right so um found this company and everything uh these are made in china uh like i said the seal's not broken or anything it's sealed um not coming apart or anything so um they should be in in good good working order same with this one seal on both sides so um we'll go ahead and and get into these i guess i'll do the smaller box um first and today we have a browning knife uh that i got in a thing it i probably won't ever carry it just because it is uh tip down carry and i don't i don't really care for the tip down carry but it is a nice slicer. It does have a really, really uh, sharp blade on it. Um, but um, I just probably won't uh, end up carrying it just because it's tipped down and I don't uh, carry tip down knives. And it is a coated uh, blade and everything. So um, that's a cool presentation. So. We, it came with a real leather slip, so, yep, it's genuine leather, whew, um, it's like, uh, it's probably vegetable tanned, it feel, it feels like, um, it's not overly thick, but it's thick enough, and the stitching, stitching's actually pretty good, uh, and it is branded, uh, their name and everything, which is Samuel, and it looks like they came. It came with a um, uh, lanyard to put the lanyard on, right through that little hole right there. But this is going to be um, primarily a. Um, let's see, this one's going to be my October uh, pen pen style pocket knife oh that's actually pretty nice um just because it's it's like an orange and black g10 um that's actually really nice um it's actually smaller than what i thought it was gonna be Ooh, it snaps right out there too so it's about the size of a of a pen um, when it's fully closed, here's my titanium one. It's a lot lighter than my titanium artisan pen uh, that I carry almost all the time. It is a Tanto. Uh, this one is D2 steel. It is a uh, liner lock. And it actually sits flush in there. It doesn't come up out of the, the thing. And it looks like it's pretty much dead center like I said I'll do better uh, shots on this and everything but uh, just a regular pocket clip so you 
think there was just a pen in your pocket, which is pretty neat. Um, I really like the, the colors and everything. And like I said, it flips right out. No issues. Uh, everything's running on bearings. Yep. It's running on ball bearings, so everything's in there. Uh, good lockup. Uh, sits flush. That is actually really neat and nice. So it is a Tanto style. Uh, D2 blade. Yep. D2. So um, we'll just set that in the slip for right now and, and go from there. I guess you do tip down, right? Or the flipper down. And set it on there. Something like that. I guess. Yep. So something like that. And uh, hook your lanyard to it. So, really neat. Uh, that's if you wanted to just throw it in your pocket and protect it a little bit more. Um, like I said, it's probably going to go in my um, pocket uh, up top of my um, my uh, like a pocket protector. It's going to go in my in my shirt shirt pocket. So that's really cool. So we'll use this to open the next one. Look at that edge is really, really sharp. Really, really sharp. So that's cool. Oh, and this one's a magnetic enclosure. So we'll set this one down. So this one's a magnetic. And that one, good presentation on these. And this one should have, I thought this one's supposed to have a sheath and everything to it too. But I'm not seeing that. But, um, I'll have to check the listing and everything. These were on Amazon. That's a little bit heavier. I mean, it is titanium. And I think this one was... That one needs some work. It needs to be. But this is uh, their VG10 Damasteel. And titanium one. So... But, um, that one's a really cool one. Like I said, they sit right down inside. No, nothing sticking up. It is flat all the way around. Um, this one does have like a little, looks like a tungsten carbide, um, glass breaker on there. So, um, but yeah. That one's just a spear point and everything and go from there and this one is a uh, frame locked version so it's got the frame lock on it um, it is a milled titanium pocket clip which is really neat so this would be for uh, like gentleman's carry um, in an office setting um, and stuff like that so really neat really neat nice thin slicey um, nice thin and slicey um, steel it is sharp very very sharp so it is nice and got a nice ting to it when it when it sets in there. So I'm sure this one would set in here too. But I'll have to I will have to uh investigate investigate and see because it was supposed to come with a uh darker um slip leather slip so we'll see 
I'll get back at you. I appreciate you, everybody. EDC Lion, Lions EDC Pride Group. Um, everybody on Facebook and here on um, YouTube. So we have that one and D2. And we have this one in VG10 Dama Steel. So the Tanto version. And then we have the um, Tanto D2. And then we have the titanium. So, and like I said, they're not very much more, they're not taller than than this browning. So, really cool. Uh, like I said, they're a gentleman's carry most likely and everything. So, I'll hit you up on the next one. I appreciate you, everybody. Thank you very much for viewing. Have a good day. Bye.